Hey guys, welcome to Kani's classes, Concepts Simplified just for you. This is Nutrition Science Series and in this session, we are going to see about RDA, that is Recommended Dietary Allowances. I have made another video in this series and that's about the concept of nutrition, nutrients and role of nutrients in human health. If you have not seen that video, you can find the link that flash on the top of the screen. Click that and see that video also. Follow my telegram channel to get simplified notes for net syllabus. And those who are new to this channel, do subscribe to Kani's classes and press the bell icon nearby to get notified whenever I post a video. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Come, let's move on to the topic RDA. RDA, that is Recommended Dietary Allowances. What is Recommended Dietary Allowances? From the abbreviation, we can understand that it is something related to diet. And how can we define diet? A diet can be defined as planning what food you should eat in a day and sticking to that plan. We can call that as diet. Here, instead of food, you can consider the components of food. What is components of food? In the series, we discussed the video in the series. Components of food is called nutrients and what all the nutrients present it is carbohydrate protein fat vitamins and minerals we have two more nutrients that is water and roughage or dietary fiber so dietary allowances is allowance is the amount so how can we define dietary allowance now it is the uh, planning of how much amount of carbohydrate, how much amount of protein, fat, vitamin and mineral, each and every nutrient a human should take in a day. Or a human, carbohydrate, protein, fat, decide dietary allowance. And this dietary allowance is being recommended by someone. And who recommend that? It is recommended by ICMR and NIN. ICMR is Indian Council of Medical Research and NIN is National Institute of Nutrition. They have taken few data in hand. Or a silly data. That is the data. That is the next video. So they have taken few data and based on that data, they have made some calculations. Or a silly calculation go to the arrive at the RDA. RDA is a very big table because they have to find the RDA for each and every nutrient, carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin A, D, E, K, B, C and a lot of minerals or the all minerals for RDA can be That is RDA. Come let's discuss more about RDA. First let's see the definition for RDA. And the factors affecting RDA, that is what all the factors they have considered before formulating RDA and the uses of RDA. What are all the uses, that is what is the need for RDA and uh, what, is, what are all the advantages of RDA or what is the significance of RDA, all means the same. Okay. And lastly, we are going to see about what is reference man and reference women. That I will tell in the last part of this video. Definition for RDA. Before seeing the definition for RDA, we should understand what is nutrient requirement. Nutrient requirement is the minimum amount of observed nutrient. That is the nutrient that is observed. All nutrient that we take will not be observed in the body. Many factors influence the absorption of nutrients. If we have 5 gram of protein, only a part of it will be uh, absorbed, whereas uh, the remaining will go unobserved. So, you have to consider only the absorbed nutrient here. It is the minimum amount of absorbed nutrient that is necessary for maintaining the physiological functions. All your digestion, circulation, excretion, all will come under the physiological functions. To maintain the physiological functions, 
and also to prevent the symptoms of deficiency. Our body will end the deficiency or kakudade, deficiency symptoms, deficiency disease, irkakudade. Abdi ilam irkarthi kevlo nutrient tevio, that is the nutrient requirement. Now, coming on to the definition for RDA. RDA can be defined as the average daily dietary intake level that is sufficient to meet the nutrient requirement of all healthy individuals, almost 97 to 98% in a particular life stage and gender group. So, we can take only the average daily dietary intake. You have to calculate for a, a big population, you can take only the average. So, it is the average daily dietary intake for the healthy individuals in particular life stage and gender group. How it can be calculated? The nutrient requirement plus the safety margin is RDA. See, if we eat a little extra, we cook a little extra. Same like nutrient requirement prescribe there may be a deficiency for some person. So, to avoid that, what they do is that they add a safety margin. For example, if uh, they calculate the nutrient requirement for carbohydrate and the nutrient requirement order, they will add a little extra of carbohydrate and they will prescribe the RDA levels. So, this is how the RDA is calculated. Factors affecting RDA, that is factors based on which the RDA is formulated or factors that have been taken into account or taken into consideration while formulating RDA. See, when they formulate the RDA for humans, they cannot give same RDA for people in all age groups. And there are many other factors they need to be considered. The factors are, first one is age. See, when we see the uh, nutrient requirement of a boy, he may need more protein for the growth and development. Whereas, an old person or an adult, he may require comparatively less protein because he need it only for the maintenance and repair of the tissues. And uh, the next is based upon gender. For male, the RDA will be different and for female, the RDA will be different. Because there may be more changes in, the, in their physiological functions and their basal metabolic rate varies based upon the gender. And uh, when we see the hemoglobin count, for male, it will be higher. For female, it will be less. So, in that case, the requirement of iron may also vary. So, based upon gender, the RDA varies. The next is type of work. When we see the type of work, there are three type of work. Sedentary, moderate and heavy. See, for a sedentary worker, he may not move much. There will not be more physical work. So, he may need less energy. When we see a heavy worker, he may need more energy because there will be more physical work for him. So, the RDA may vary for a sedentary worker, moderate worker and a heavy worker. The next is body weight and size. Based upon the body weight and size, the RDA varies. But to overcome this factor, what they have done is that they have given a, an ideal weight. So, this is the ideal weight for which the RDA will be calculated. The next is physiological conditions like pregnancy and lactation. In pregnancy, a mother may need more nutrient for the growing fetus, whereas in lactation, he, she may need more nutrient for the feeding child. So, in these cases also, they need a different amount of RDA. The next is bioavailability of nutrients. It is more related to the absorption of nutrients. See, when you take any food item, 
for example we can take protein itself if you see you have you take a food item that have a uh, 10 gram of protein in it and your body is able to absorb 8 gram of protein from that then that food is said to have a high bioavailability so this factor is also taken into consideration while they formulate the rda the next is interrelationship between nutrients that is the presence of one nutrient may influence the absorption of other nutrient you can understand this by considering two examples we can take vitamin d and calcium the other example we can say zinc and copper if you compare vitamin d and calcium the presence of vitamin D will increase the absorption of calcium that it will increase the bioavailability of calcium whereas the presence of zinc will decrease the absorption of copper. So factors like these are also taken into consideration while they formulate the RDA. These are all the major factors that affect the RDA formulation. Uses of RDA. See, there are many ways in which RDA are useful to us. We can list a few uses of RDA here. First one is to prevent the deficiency diseases. Of course, when we take a diet based upon the RDA, we will take a healthy diet. In that case, you can prevent the deficiency diseases. You can plan the diet for disease condition. Any disease condition, you can plan a diet based on the RDA. For a patient, a renal patient, a kidney failure, a renal patient, he should not take more potassium. So what they will take is that they will take the RDA of potassium of a healthy man. Ideal man, RDA potassium is not going to be decrease decrease They will formulate the diet for the renal patient. So this way also RDA is useful and for planning the menus in hostels and hospitals etc. Or a healthy food vendor or hostel or hospital or provide panno of dinaka, they can plan the menu based upon the RDA and based upon the RDA they can plan and buy the food supplies also. Next is helps to interpret the nutrient intake from the food consumption record. See the food consumption record is one. For example, or a dietitian kit up on of dinaka, nama pasta eblo healthy food saprobin soli if he or she want to check, what they will do is that they will give a paper where they will ask us to write what all we have consumed in the past three days or five days or so. And what they will do is that from that list of food items, they will use RDA to interpret the nutrient intake of the person. So RDA helps to interpret the nutrient intake from the food consumption record and it also helps to give the nutrition education to the masses. If you want to tell to any person about the importance of nutrient or how much of nutrient is required for a healthy life, you have to use RDA. If RDA le solid kanga, if you carbohydrates, if you have proteins, if you have male, you will. Uh, end up in overnutrition. You will have undernutrition only. If you want to educate the mass public in that case, the RDA is useful. The next is to develop new food products and dietary supplements and establish guidelines for nutritional labeling of packaged foods. Packaged foods nutrition facts which will say that per serving will have this amount of carbohydrate, this amount of cholesterol, this amount of uh, protein, this amount of dietary fiber and so on, or list take it. How that list is made? They will use RDA as a base. Based upon that RDA only, they will calculate this nutrition facts. So, that in the RDA helpful. These are all the uses of RDA. See, this is the uh, summary table of RDA 2020 for Indians. You can see the factors affecting RDA here. See, based upon the age group, the RDA differs. That is, for men, the RDA will be different. For women, the RDA will be different. 
இன்ஃபென்ட்ஸ்க்கு அவங்க க்ரோயிங் ஸ்டேஜில் இருக்கனால் அவங்களுக்கு நியூட்ரிஷன் நியூட்ரியன் ரெக்குவயர்மெண்ட் வேறையாக இருக்கும் சில்ட்ரனுக்கு அண்ட் கிட்ஸில் வந்து பாய்ஸ் கேர்ள்ஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ரெண்டாக பிரிச்சுட்டு அண்ட் அதுலேயும் ஏஜ் குரூப்பில் தி ஹேவ் டிவைடட் டென் டு டுவெல் இயர்ஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் டு ஃபிஃப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் டு எயிட்டீன் இயர்ஸ்னு கேட்டகரி ஆஃப் ஒர்க் பார்த்தோம்னா ஃபார் மென் அண்ட் விமன் தேர் வில் பி செடன்ட்ரி மாட்ரேட் அண்ட் ஹெவி விமனுக்கு கொஞ்சம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா ஃபிசியலாஜிக்கல் கண்டிஷன் இருக்கனால ஃபார் ப்ரெக்னென்ட் விமன் த ஆடி வில் பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார் லாக்டேஷன்லேயும் ஜீரோ டு சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ்க்கு ஒரு அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆர்டியே இருக்கும் அண்ட் செவன் டு டுவெல் மந்த்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபீடிங்க்கு ஆடி வில் பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வென் வி சி த பாடி வெயிட் பாடி வெயிட் வந்து ஹைலி வேரீஸ் ஸோ அதுக்கு வந்து தே கே நாட் கிவ் த ஆடி ஃபார் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி பாடி வெயிட் ஸோ வாட் தே ஹேவ் டன் இஸ் தட் தே ஹேவ் கிவன் அண்ட் ஐடியல் பாடி வெயிட் ஒரு ஐடியல் பாடி வெயிட் கொடுத்துட்டாங்க அந்த வெயிட்டு தான் வெயிட்டுக்கு தான் இந்த ஆர்டிஏ கேல்குலேஷன் ஸோ ஃபார் அ மென் த ஐடியல் வெயிட் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் கிலோகிராம் ஃபார் அ விமன் த ஐடியல் வெயிட் இஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் கிலோகிராம் ஹியர் இன் திஸ் டேபிள் தே ஹேவ் கிவன் த ஆர்டிஏ ஃபார் த மேஜர் நியூட்ரியன்ஸ் பட் ஆர்டிஏ வில் பி கேல்குலேட்டட் ஃபார் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி நியூட்ரியன்ட் விச் இஸ் நாட் கிவன் ஹியர் only for major nutrients the rda is listed here you can see the measurements in which the rda is given for protein it is given in grams for carbohydrate it is in grams whereas for uh, vitamin b12 and vitamin a it will be in mu g so uh, the for vitamin d it is in iu that is international units so the measurement also will vary so this is the summary of rda we can see the rd 2020 in detail in the next video the next is a reference man and reference women let's see the definition a reference man and women refer to the human with ideal body weight and height who are well nourished adults with satisfactory growth during the childhood and are currently leading an active lifestyle So, if we look at the RDA, that is where we have seen that uh, the ideal weight is given to us. They are giving the ideal height also. The ideal height is our reference height. In RDA 2010, the ideal weight is 60 kg. Now, the ideal weight is 60 kg for men. Whereas, in RDA 2020, it is plus 5 kg, that is 65 kg. and the reference height is 5 feet 6 inch in rda 2010 whereas in rda 2020 or or 2 inch increase panitam so that is plus 2 inches for women if we you see there is a inge or plus 5 kg da but 50 kg la nd 55 kg ya ipo current rda la kuduthirukanga and reference height will be 5 feet in 2010 whereas in 2020 it is plus 3 inch that is 5 feet and 3 inch this is the reference man and reference women in next video let's see about rda 2020 in that we will see what is new in rda 2020 by comparing it with the older one that is rda 2010 and uh, that's all for this video friends i hope you find this video useful If so then do subscribe to Kanni's classes and don't forget to like share and comment see you all in next video bye for now thank you